There is a theory that the younger generation, those raised in an internet age, are able to take in more of what is going on because they've grown up handling multiple streams of information. That's why you see kids riding bikes these days, checking their emails while they're doing it. There was a story a while ago about a schoolgirl in Scotland who threatened legal action against her school if they wouldn't let her use her iPod during her exams. So they had to buy her a new iPod and loaded up with music themselves to make sure she wasn't using it to cheat. Where they got one from, I don't know. I mean, those things were finished by Christmas 2006, <laughs> weren't they? Surely. Of course, there was outrage everywhere you looked, especially if you looked at the bottom half of the internet, <laughs> where people were leaving comments on news sites and blogs. Now, I have a little hobby, ladies and gentlemen. I like to read all those comments. I like to collate the more eccentric of them and turn them into something else. I've turned them into something that I like to call a found poem that I would like to perform for you now. Well, well, well. I thought I'd heard it all, but I hadn't because I hadn't heard this. <laughs> this takes the biscuit, and it's not a very nice biscuit. <laughs> Britain is no longer great. If I had the money, I'd emigrate. <laughs> what about the other children around her? Have you been on a train, or a bus, or a coach, or a tram recently? They're full of selfish morons blasting out their music. <laughs> when, oh when, will you people vote for a government that will stop this kind of thing? <laughs> if I've learned one thing about girls, it's this. If you give one of them an iPod, they'll all want one. <laughs> And so will the boys. <laughs> this will spread across the nation. It's been brewing since the 60s. <laughs> but now mob rule is finally here. <laughs> this child should be named and shamed. If Ryan Giggs can be named for his infidelity, <laughs> then why shouldn't this child be named for this? <laughs> I am a doctor. <laughs> And this girl is an addict. No more, no less. I am a doctor. And she needs music, just like a druggie needs drugs. I am not a lawyer. But this does not seem right or fair. I wonder how she would have managed if iPods had not yet been invented. I expect she'd have wanted a Walkman. This is categorically the most outrageous thing I've ever heard. She has effectively slapped her classmates. <laughs> right in the chops. <laughs> this is like walking up to each of her classmates and slapping them. Hard. <laughs> across the cheek. With a dry kipper. <laughs> When I was at school, we had proper lessons and learned proper things. Facts. We didn't learn about other cultures. <laughs> we didn't use computers. We didn't have music pods. <laughs> I am a doctor. Bring back the cave. <laughs> I thank you.